What's up guys, it's PR Tech Seal today. I want to show you how to create different forms of skyscrapers. When you are working for your project, before starting your project, finishing the concept is very important. First, you will need to finish your conceptual design and then you must build with the wall, slab and other tools. In this tutorial, I will show you how to achieve conceptual skyscraper in ArchJet. Let's get started. Alright, here we are in ArchJet. Before beginning, we are going to create our floors. To do it, we will go to the project map and we will right click this ground floor or any kind of floor. Right click and we will click story settings or you can just click this settings too. After that, we will click this insert above. I want to make this 30 story building, so I'm going to click this number 2 and click insert above. Just like that. Maybe one more time. Let's click OK. But before clicking OK, if you click the ground floor or any kind of floor, you will go immediately on the, onto that floor. So I click 5. Let's click OK. Now we are in the fifth story. Alright. For the first type, we will use Morph tool. Let's go to Morph tool. And from the geometry method, I will choose the rectangular shape, but not rotated rectangular, simple rectangular. Before placing that, you will see the center grid line. If you follow that line, your rectangle will be completely equal. Dimensions will be 2000 to 2000. This will be enough for our first design. Alright, in the 3D window, this is what we have. Let's click the space. And after that, we will click this push pull. And by doing that, we can snap it onto our floors. Just like that. Maybe it went third story. Once we achieve it, we will duplicate this. Like this. And we will change its height. You can do this a couple of more times. It depends on your project. And if this is OK, you will select all of them. Right click, Boolean Operations, click Union. Now as you can see, the hidden parts will go. And by using this, you can change your model very easily. And You can create elegant conceptual designs. Even you can create additional bugs onto this space. You will just click this space and you will click this pen. You will select this pen drawing options here. It's rectangular right now. And then we will see lights. Click inside. And it's going to be 5 meters. Yes, it enters. This is what we get. Of course, if this is done, you can always go to floor plan and click that. Go to settings. From here, you will click this projected with overhead and all relevant stories and to floor plan range. With that, and with that, you won't see unnecessary morph parts in your floor. As you can see, we have this. If we change the story, you will see the drawing was changed. Now, if you have this, you can do everything. Like placing slabs. It's space. And you will have your real building at the end of course when you finish all of the floors and walls all right now i'm going to delete floors let's move forward let's go to ground floor again hold hold click the morph to create additional one after that i'm just going to create additional rectangle just like this at this time 
I will split this by this tool. This split. From here to here. Click the space. Let's go to the 3D window. And use push pull once more. And this is going to be finished from here maybe. And after that you can just directly click your points. And mold your shape. When it's done, you can always go to tools, you can create slabs, walls, or even you can create curtain walls. By curtain walls, you will select this boundary, the input method will be this icon, and first you will click your base, and by clicking your corners, you will have your curtain wall. Let's click this space and create this space too. There we go. This was the simplest method how you can create the conceptual skyscraper. Let's move forward. Now I'm going to show you a different way. Let's go to options. Click complex profiles, profile manager. We are going to create a different profile. Let's hit this plus and you can select any kind of folder here. I'm just going to click new, click OK. I will use this with wall, so I won't need to click this beam or color. And I will just create a line. My building will be 30 meters height. So I'm going to input here 3000 centimeters and this is going to be our building and after that I can bend it by clicking this edge and giving it an arc like so. You can give this any shape you want. It's up to your imagination. Now if this is okay for you. I'm going to give this a thickness, it's going to be 40 centimeters or 30 centimeters and I will close the gaps like this. After that I will move this to my reference position. This is going to be our outer edge and after that I will go to the document and after that I will click this fill and fill inside with my material. You can change this material from the material manager from the material manager from here with building materials. You can reach it from the options to element attributes building materials. Now if this is done you will just give this a name maybe scraper Let's click OK and click Save. After that we will go to Ground Floor and Design Wall Geometry Method will be you will change it from here. This is going to be Complex Profile and after that click this Custom and select our Scraper and then we will select this and then we will select the center point and radius. As you remember, we have moved this point to our reference. So if we click, this is going to be our outer edge. And in the 3D window, we will see our complete building. Complete building. Oops, we need a mistake here. I have input the top height wrongly, so I will edit this. And I'm going to select all of them. Hit Ctrl plus K. And from here to here, it's going to be 9000. Once this is done, I can click this save 
and go back to the 3D. It will be automatically updated. Once you achieve this, you can change this material, you can turn this into a glass. And of course, you will need to change the thickness by doing so. From here, maybe just input here glass. Click that. By the way, for detailing, I have a very complex tutorial for this kind of shapes. I'm going to add a link into the, this cast. So, let's click the save for now and go to 3D window. We will see this. And then we can create our slab for each floor. I hitting the space before clicking, by the way. You will make this for all of the stories. And in the end, you will have this. All right, let's go forward. Now, now this is going to be a very different way. Let's go to ground floor and create a slab, basic slab. Something like this. But I want this to be a rectangular, so so I'm going to input a distance. It's going to be maybe 20 meters to 20 meters. Or I don't know, maybe 30 to 30. After that, I will determine my center area. To do that, I will create reference lines. This is the most simple method. And I'm going to create walls around this with the simple structure by changing its material to glass, maybe. Just input here glass, glass blue to see it better. Now, let's hit the space, click our rectangle. And by the way, when you see its center point, you can always go to the document and click this hotspot and place in the center of the building. After that, you can get rid of the unnecessary paper slides. Now we have slabs, we have walls. Now we are going to select all of them. And by the way, let's fix the height of the wall. It's going to be 300. Or maybe you can do it automatically by linking the first story. As you can see, it's 30 centimeters. As you can see, it's 3 meters right now. Let's click OK. Let's select all of them, hit Ctrl plus U. And then we will click this rotate. Click this rotate to pad. And for the method, I'm going to use this increment. Our copies will be 30 or 29. Because in the end we will have 30 floors. For the height is going to be 3 meters. Our floor, our floor height. If we click this set home story by elevation, this is very important. We will be able to control all of our walls immediately, separately by clicking its referring story. So each story we will see different shape of walls. All right, now let's click OK. Let's click our center point. I want this to be completely rotated, so I'm going to input here 180 divided by 30 equal 6 degrees. Hit enter and we will see if we change the story, it started to rotating. And in the end we will see this. If our calculations are correct, this ground floor will be the same with this story 30.
So we did a mistake here. Let's go to the last floor and we will see its story 29. Let's fix this. Let's go back. I just hit control plus Z. And let's do it again. It says copies, so that means this number is going to be all of our floors. I thought even the original would be included, but I was wrong. So I'm going to input here 30 right now. And let's click OK. Our numbers won't be different. It's going to, it's going to be the same. 6 degrees. Now we are in the ground floor and we are in the story 30 which has the same angle with the ground floor and in the end we will see our fully 180 degrees rotated building. In this video we have learned how to extract masses as a concept. At the end of each we can move on to the details of our main mass by completing our form. Alright, that's all it for this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any questions, suggestions, please leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you are serious about learning ARCAD, you can go to my Patreon page. From there, I will be waiting for you. Alright, thank you for watching. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye.